White House attorney Eric Hirschman testified that the next day, January 7th, he received a call from Dr. Eastman. Here is Mr. Hirschman's account of that call. The day after, uh, Eastman, I don't remember why he called me, He's in a, or he texted me or called me, wanted to talk with me, and he said he couldn't reach others. And he started to ask me about something dealing with Georgia and preserving something potentially for appeal. Uh, and I said to him, are you out of your effing mind? Right? I said, I said, I only want to hear two words coming out of your mouth for now on. Orderly transition. And I screamed and said, I don't want to hear any other effing words coming out of your mouth, no matter what, other than orderly transition. Repeat those words to me. And I screamed and I said, Eventually, he said, orderly transition. I said, good, John. Now I'm going to give you the best free legal advice you're ever getting in your life. Get a great FN criminal defense lawyer. You're going to need it. And then I hung up on him. In fact, just a few days later, Dr. Eastman emailed Rudy Giuliani and requested that he be included on a list of potential recipients of a presidential pardon. Dr. Eastman's email stated, quote, I've decided that I should be on the pardon list if that is still in the works. Dr. Eastman did not receive his presidential pardon. So let's see what Dr. Eastman did as a result when he was deposed by this committee. I assert my Fifth Amendment right against uh, being compelled to be a witness against myself. Did the Trump legal team ask you to prepare a memorandum regarding the vice president's role in the counting of electoral votes at the joint session of Congress on January 6, 2021? Yeah. Dr. Eastman, did you advise the president of the United States that the vice president could reject electors from seven states and declare that the president had been reelected? Yeah. Dr. Eastman, the first sentence of the memo starts off by saying, seven states have transmitted dual slates of electors to the president of the Senate. Is that statement in this memo true? Yep. Did President Trump authorize you to discuss publicly your January 4th, 2021 conversation with him? Yep. Uh, our so is it your position that you can discuss in the media direct conversations you had with the President of the United States, but you will not discuss those same conversations with this committee? Fifth. Dr. Eastman pled the fifth a hundred times. Finally, let's hear from a federal court judge, the only one to date who has opined on what